Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at how to model a character in Maya. So we will look at uh, how this is done uh, using a reference image uh, starting from a box. All right. So the first thing is uh, we will look at the sketch. Uh, so if you look at the sketch, uh, the character has um, a dress and then the inner body. So uh, I'm thinking of modeling the dress separately or maybe use a cloth simulation for the dress. So we'll get the basic body done. And then uh, yeah, we can even do hair simulation. And then we will also look at how to model hair uh, using the geometry as well. Uh, so let us get started in Maya. Uh, in Maya, uh, before we go there, okay, wanted to make sure this is stopped. All right, so I have this uh, first stage of character model. So this is what we will be achieving in this first class. All right, you can see that things are out of proportion and that is on purpose. We are going to look at how to bring these different parts together using a basic cube. Uh, and then later on, we'll bring in the reference image and then start uh, placing things in place. So we can then go and then scale things around and make them small and big. That's why on purpose, I made these uh, big so that uh, uh, you get comfortable with the polygons and moving them around, scaling them, and changing the scale and size as required. All right. Uh, so you can see that uh, we will look at uh, basically modeling the head, connecting the neck, then the torso. We'll connect the hand, uh, arm, and then the hand, and then the leg, and then the foot. All right. So let's see how this is done. We'll go to File New Scene and I will uh, save this as um, Character Stage 1. Alright, so uh, we will be basically starting with the cube. Alright, so as you can see, I'm not bringing the reference image right up because I want you to get uh, comfortable with uh, the geometry and see how the basic uh, setup is done. So we are going to use two by two by two segments for our basic character. Okay. And then what I will do is in the top view, I will select this and scale it out. Uh, basically, we will make it a cylindrical shape. Okay. So we will be using this object multiple times. Okay. So let us uh, say in the front view that this is uh, the character's head. Okay. Then I'll shift control D to duplicate this, scale it down, and I will scale the whole thing to make it the neck. Okay. And then I will uh, control D and then move it down and this will be the torso. Okay. Control D and left. I will only make uh, one hand. So this would be the hand and we will scale it not in this direction but in this direction. Okay, so that would be the hand. And then I can control duplicate the neck for the leg. Okay, so that would be the leg. And then control to D to get the foot. Okay, and then we can scale that out so the foot will be there and then I will control V this and this will be the hand. 
Okay, so this will be the different components of the body and we will first attach these together and then uh, work on further detailing this. So what we will do is we will select the whole thing and go to mesh combine. Alright, so everything is combined. Then we will select the face and then select this, this, this and this. And then we need to select the top part of our neck. So you can select shape, this, this, this. And go to edit mesh bridge. Okay. And then we will do the same thing at the bottom. So what I will do is uh, the other way to do selection is select, select all these. And then control to deselect other part so only these four and these four are selected so edit mesh bridge so that's done all right so uh, we will need uh, four polygons here and four four on the torso so as you can see that when we are modeling everything has to be four-sided polygon okay that is important and this is how you can block things in to make sure that everything is four-sided. Now we need more geometry on the torso for the hand and the leg. So what I will do is um, I will select the leg and move it down and then I can select these. Okay and then you have to be careful about shift selecting because you also have to extrude. I'll extrude these twice so you get more geometry for the torso. Now I'll select this, shift this, this, and then shift and shift. So these four will connect here, so edit mesh bridge. Okay, in the top view, we go to vertex. Then make sure that things are proper. All right, so we can do the same thing for the hand, face. We can select these four. Control this and this. Make sure that all these four are selected. And edit mesh bridge. Okay, so here the finger will come out. So I'll go to move, shift, shift. Okay, and then this. These are our hands. Then we did not get the side geometry on the hand. So what I'll do is go to vertex and select all these. And then we will go to control and deselect these. And we didn't have Deselect this and deselect this. So I wanted this to be a cylindrical shape which was not there earlier. And then this. And then we can make the thumb also cylindrical. Alright, now the leg. So we need four here and then the other side. We are only modeling one side of the character so we can delete and then make the other side. So before we move on to the leg, we can connect the foot. So I'll go to face. 
select H4. it one and twice so you get four here and four here so again we will go to face mode shift control select so four here four here edit mesh bridge Extruded those things when they I think. Yeah, now it is one. These four and these four bridge. and things So that becomes the foot. Now what we need to do is uh, add an edge loop. So edit mesh, mesh tools, insert edge loop and then we will add an edge loop here. So you get four polygons. So you can again go to face, select these four. Select these four and go to Edit Mesh Bridge. And delete. And then maybe use edge and then do edges at a time. Edit mesh bridge. Alright, so that's better. This, 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 and this. Edit match bridge. This, 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 and this. Edit match bridge. So we got our hand and foot modeled. Okay, everything is four sided clean. And then in the next class, we will look at uh, how to bring in our reference images and then start placing these vertices and modeling the rest of the character. We can go to faces, 
in the front view and now it is time to delete one side okay this gizmo if you hit the D key it can be placed in the center and then we can go to edit duplicate special negative one in scale and apply so you get the other side of the character okay so let us see how to further model this character um, bringing the reference images and making the proportions correct in the next class thank you